So either if you get sorry your account was not found or sorry your account is inactive and may not log in, I'm here to help you and get your Epic Games account back. And if you get any of these errors while logging in, then I know why this happens and I'll tell you how you can fix this. So first of all, why does this happen? Why can't you log into your Epic Games account? Well, this is one of the following reasons. So either you've been inactive for a very long time, either your account has been hacked, and this can be by somebody acting like you, creating a lot of support tickets, either changing the password or trying to change the password a lot of times, trying to change the email or any other information. Now this can also be because somebody logins from another IP address or from a lot of different IP addresses and any of these things are abnormal behaviors and in the Epic Games systems they will see this and flag your account and they will think your account is compromised or is trying is almost getting compromised and therefore you need to contact Epic Games support and tell them that you're the owner of the account because they don't know. So first of all we need to contact Epic Games and we can do this by going to our Google just start it up then go to Epic Games search that right up and we will need to create a support ticket we can do it by going to support right here then go to accounts right here click on that and then click on contact us so make sure that you're not signed into your epic games account if you are signed into any account please log out and go back to this page because then you will have this we're here to help if you're not able to log into your account you can try to recover it click on recover it right here and then fill in everything so first of all your display name so when you create your epic games account you can choose a name that is your display name so it could be something like uh, sean sean like something like this so make sure to input that then tell them your email address so you can put in any email address that you would like and then go to the next step so what we want to do is put in as much information that can help epic games confirm the that the account is yours so here you have the ip v4 address it should put in automatically this is the address that you have currently but i'm on a vpn so make sure that you're not on a vpn because otherwise they will think that you are a account stealer yourself so you can always search for what is my ip v4 and then you will find it on google so search it up i'm not going to show that but they say okay you can identify your ip address if you use several ip devices please include all of them. So you can add in IP addresses right here and add as many as you know and as many as you can. So then click on the next step. And this is one of the most important part. So here we're gonna try to give a per search info that we have made. So let's say you've bought any game or anything in the Epic Games web store, then please fill that in. Okay, so here's an email that I got. So as you can see, hello dip. And then here's the invoice ID, the order ID, the order date, the description. And if you will scroll down, uh, this is everything. Yeah. So put in your transaction ID or order ID. So I'll just put in this one. Then the city. So this is where you made the purchases. So not where you live, but where you made the purchases. So I'm not going to show that at the moment. I live in the Netherlands, give that. And then the last four digits of the credit card. So let's say you did use a credit card, then you can put them in. Then go to the next step. And here you can add any connected accounts that you have. So these would be things where your Epic Games is connected. What they say is PlayStation Switch or Epic Games or Twitch accounts can be connected. So click on accounts, add the account, let's say Nintendo, add this and tell them when so let's say it was 9 september uh, 9 september in uh, 2020 2020 then put it like this and this would be your name save and continue and then you would do like that so when you click on continue now you're to this support request so this is everything that you have gave them from the pre previous page and right here please put in the contact email okay yeah because yeah okay so this email is the email from the account and then later you need to give the contact email so maybe you need to change that so put in here a valid email so this is the contact email then choose which platform are you so i'm in pc and then you can describe your problem here. Let's say something like, I tried to log in to my Epic Games. 
I used it, say like I used it as this time, this time. Or you can say, say something like my account has been hacked or I can't log in. Please just give the error and maybe give some more information. So if you know, uh, I paid, made a purchase with PayPal or if you have any other receipt, you can share them right here. Don't share everything that you know, but share information that you could share. Maybe share other places where you've purchased it. You can also uh, create a screenshot of anything. And then if you've done that, then you can click on submit an email request. So if you do that, then we need to wait. And now I need to verify. Okay, so now it has been submitted. So what will happen right now? Well, what will happen is that uh, Epic Games Worker will now read your chat message and usually within three days he will get back to you. So don't go ahead and create a lot of tickets because if you spend them, then they will think like, well, why is this kid spamming us? And they will just ignore all your messages. So just wait a minute and maybe if like it took a week, two weeks, then I would suggest creating another ticket and they will ask maybe for more information and then you can get your account back. So just follow what they will tell you what to do. And that is the only way in order to get your account back. And when you've gotten your account back, then in order to not lose it as fast is to don't change your email, password, all those things like really fast, change it maybe once a week or just wait a little bit of time because otherwise a lot of errors will go into the Epic Games system and they will think that somebody is hacking the account again. So if this video helped you, then please like and subscribe. And I'd say thank you for watching.